Hey folks, Random Dave back here showing you what you're going to need for the uh, next part of this rib process. Uh, I got a brush. This is kind of like a silicone style, but you can use any basting brush. Got some tongs here. Got to do that to test them. And then we got uh, my favorite, Sweet Baby Ray's. You can use any barbecue sauce of your choice. And then uh, some oven mitts here. And again, just a reminder, we're at uh, 275, and that was for two hours and 30 minutes. Two and one half hours. So we're going to need uh, to make a little room here to work. Uh, the next part goes kind of quickly. And then we have our timer. What I like to do is uh, grab a little stool, a little kitchen stool that I, we got sitting around here. Um, so I got to keep my eye on things. Now normally I'm actually doing two racks of ribs for this process, um, so it goes pretty quickly. Um, but uh, we just got the one rack today, so it's going to be a little less uh, hectic. So let me get set up a little bit more here and, uh, and we'll take it uh, from there. Well, can't say it wasn't expected. Um, it was a difficult time getting my foil all sealed up, so it kind of busted itself open just a touch and leaked all those delicious juices out, which is all right. Just be a little cautious. It's going to be a little steamy, but there it is, and boy, that is beautiful. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, give you a little better view of what we're working with here. Yeah, uh, she's nice. So what we do now is we put our barbecue sauce kind of glaze on there, but before I get started with that, I'm actually going to drain off all this extra liquid that we see in here because that's going to only serve to kind of wash off the uh, barbecue sauce as we start turning this thing around. And for this, I use these. I actually hold on, get a good grip on that rack, get really under there and I just kind of tilt this over into a container to drain it off um, you can put it down your sink if you want that uh, grease and fat to go down there that's up to you I suppose but we don't want uh, that to really clog up the works here so uh, I'm not going to show that part because it's kind of gnarly looking uh, in terms of just making it uh, for good video not so much so we got that extra liquid drained off, and you can save that. You could use it for a stock or something, I guess, or just dispose of it in your favorite manner. So what I did was I sent, I'll show this to you in just a moment, but I set uh, the oven to broiler low level, a low heat broiler. So that's heat coming down from above, the elements from above. We have an electric uh, stove here, electric oven. And then you take your barbecue sauce and, again, liberal application. And I will use that brush to spread it around evenly. Give it a nice once over here. Since this is the back side, it's not, um, well, we'll get to that, but. I do once on the back and twice on the front of the top side, I should say. So this kind of rib side here gets one coating, then into the broiler, and then the top side will get uh, two steps. This will be done twice. So we get a nice kind of glaze on there. And you got to keep a good eye on it because that broiler will cook this thing pretty good. So we're going to look for it, start to like bubbling up and thickening up on top. And then it's time to come out and we'll flip her over. Oakley doakley. We're going to get her in the oven. So there you see it's set on uh, low and broil. Broil low. And so we're going to get our glove up here and layer on top wrap. And 
here we go. Drop that in. And we're gonna let her have it. I put the oven light on in there. Let's see if maybe we can get a little better view. Can't really see that well through there, but it's the oven shot. So you see right up in there. So what I do is I'm just chilling, kind of keep my eye on it in there. I'll crack open the oven, take a look, looking for bubbles on top of that uh, barbecue sauce. Um, it starts to kind of bubble up and I don't want to say caramelize, but it thickens up and you, you, you'll see it when it happens. You don't want it to burn on there, but you do want it to kind of thicken up and bubble up and concentrate. It gives a real good flavor that way. And I got my, my fan on, so there's a little noise, but out she comes. Get a nice little bubble action going on there. Now let's see up top. So now we gotta, gotta turn her over so we can get the other side. I actually got a second set of tongs there because I'm pretty sure this is going to want to just come apart. Oh yeah. Not too bad. Let's give it a little turn. Looking beautiful. Set those aside and let's cue it up. Let's give it a spread. Work it around, try to get the edges. And we'll just get that. That looks like a pretty good layer. We're gonna do this twice. So this is gonna go back in under the broiler. And we're gonna broil it up again with another layer. And that should be really good. So back into the broiler. Out she comes. See if we can kind of get a little closer on that. You can see how it kind of thickens it up, cooks it down a little bit. Well, maybe you can see that. But I'm going to baste her again with the uh, Sweet Baby Rays. And then it's going to be time for our last broil step. And then donezo. And again, you can use whatever barbecue sauce you'd like. It's all about making it the way that you enjoy it. Flavors you like. Some people like a little tangy. Some people like spicy. Heck, you could try this with anything. Honey mustard or something like that. Never tried it with like an A1 sauce or one of those things but you know you might want to make your own video about doing that maybe you're onto something just try to get the edges personally I don't mind laying it on thick back into the oven last one let's say on average it takes about four minutes give or take for the broiler step so I do stay right by it like I say I'll sit down in my little stool and keep an eye on things and crack open that oven from time to time and take a look see Ooh, we're getting close that last layer is kind of thick so it might take five minutes of broiler time before it's ready but you know, err on the side of caution. Check every, you know, after two minutes, three minutes, four or five. Just keep a good eye on it because it'll get away from you real fast. And she's just about there. So we can uh, power down. We're going to take her out. And that looks decent. 
pretty decent. Close it all up. And we'll just get another look at her. Kind of a good little glaze going on there. I do let it rest a bit, so I'm going to take that piece of foil that I had from earlier and just make like a little tent. Tent it up. Just let that sit for a bit. Usually I got a million other things to do, like working on a salad or some side dish or something. Today we'll be working on the salad. We're getting going to get that done. All right, stay tuned. We're going to cut her open in a little bit here. But what she looks like in there, pretty juicy. Well, it ain't the prettiest uh, YouTube food video, that's for dang sure. But it's going to taste good. All right, have a good dinner, everybody.